So the human microbiome is the mix of bacteria. You have both within, but also on you. And uh, it is basically made of uh, trillions of bacteria uh, and includes more than 1,000 species overall. Over the past 10 to 15 years, there was an increasing uh, research effort to better understand uh, the impact of human microbiome on overall health and wellness. It's been only since the last four to five years that the impact on health of the microbiome it starts to be understood. The microbiome opportunity is underpinned by three macro trends. Number one, aging population and increasing lifespan. Number two, westernization of the lifestyle in emerging markets. These two combined link to an increasing uh, prevalence of uh, chronic diseases and illnesses like cardiovascular and obesity. And number three, the need for healthier food. I am proud to say that nine months after its inception, the microbiome venture has put in place all the building blocks necessary to become the next innovation platform for DuPont. We have three key capabilities that we have currently strengthened through external partnership. First, the identification of new strains. This will be achieved in the field of maternal and infant health through our partnership with APC Cork, which aims at better understanding the um, early life uh, microbiota and its impact on health going forward. So the second partnership from the Microbiome Venture was announced in March 2018 and aims at understanding better which are the optimal conditions to cultivate and grow fastidious anaerobes at industrial scale. This partnership was signed with the Center of Food and Fermentation Technologies in Tallinn, in Estonia, and will focus on finding the optimal conditions for our next generation probiotics. Lastly, we recently signed a partnership with Inra Metagenopolis to decipher the mechanism of action of a subset of strains uh, selected by DuPont. Now, if you combine these three uh, capabilities and partners, the potential addressable market is going to be 5 billion plus US dollars by 2021.